In case you're unaware, Hyrus has recently released the so-called Legendary God Pack. Most of you should be familiar with the Ultimate God Pack, which simply unlocks all gods in the game for you for 30 USD. The God Pack had to be bought outright just with the money, there was no other way to get it, and it simply does just that. It just gives you the gods, nothing else. It also refunds the favor that you spend on gods beforehand, so if you already bought gods, you get that favor back, which is pretty neat. But that's it. The legendary god pack is basically an upgrade of that, which is now released and can be found on the live client. I'm not quite sure if it's on console yet, but if not, it should be in the next patch. The legendary god pack works a little bit differently because it can be bought for gems. The total price is 1200 gems. Based on how you can buy gems in the game, the closest bundle here would be 1500 gems, which would cost you 25 US dollars. So at least in US dollars, the price is cheaper when you buy the legendary god pack over buying the ultimate god pack, 5 US dollars, and you also will have 300 gems extra left after buying it. The price difference in Europe is similar. The Smite God Pack is 24 euros here, whereas 1,500 gems are 20 euros. Odds are this will apply for other countries as well. So the Legendary God Pack is actually cheaper and gives you 300 gems on top of that. But it also gives you a lot of other things on top of that. It gives you a 30 day booster, the Loki Voice Pack, the Loki Infiltrator skin, an awesome chest and 10 emote chests. Let's add that together, shall we? It's 300 gems extra, you get a 30 day booster worth 500 gems, you get the Loki voice pack worth 200 gems, the infiltrator skin being worth 400 gems, the awesome chest that doesn't really have a price tag because it's just given away on special events, but it has a decent value, the skin in it should be at least worth 400 gems, and 10 emote chests being worth 200 gems. That means in total the value of the legendary guard pack without having the guards unlocked is 2000 gems. As you can buy the legendary god pack even if you already have the ultimate god pack, you could theoretically get extra value out of that too because it's still 800 gems saved, but that would mean that you're assuming you buy everything at full price and at least voice packs are frequently in chests or have sales, skins are frequently in sales, boosters are sometimes on sale and emote chests are hardly highly valued. So unless you're specifically looking for the Loki voice pack and the Loki skin which already burned 600 gems off that chest and the emote chest for another 200 gems, you're pretty much able to buy everything outright for the same price. I personally think as an addition to an already owned ultimate guard pack, it's not really worth it because I don't think that for example a booster is worth that much to me. Obviously a matter of preference, but I think most of these things are gimmicks. But if you don't own the guard pack yet, this deal is definitely a lot more beneficial than the previous one, the pure extra value that you get and then the extra 5 USD that you save on top of that is absolutely worth considering it if you've not considered the guard pack before and maybe returning to the game and contemplating to now invest a little bit more into it. There is something more important about this though. Like I said, the ultimate guard pack could not be bought with gems, only with money, while the legendary guard pack can be bought with gems. And that means that you can effectively get the legendary guard pack for free as long as you have some patience. In case you're unaware, you can get up to 50 gems per week just by logging into Smite daily. 50 gems per week means it would take you 24 weeks to get 1200 gems. In other words, 6 months roughly. Realistically, many people won't be able to log into Smite every single day, but if you do it for a decent amount of time, you should be able to eventually unlock the legendary god pack without paying for it. Maybe it takes you half a year, maybe it takes you three quarters of a year, maybe it takes you a whole year, but it's definitely possible. And while it's unfortunate that we only know about this now, so people probably didn't save up for it, there's the opportunity to do so now if you don't spend your gems on skins for a while. And I think this is a great opportunity for new players as well. If you play the game for half a year, you're going to learn a lot about it, you're going to unlock some gods along the way with favor, and then after a year, you get all your favor back, you can buy the recolors or whatever, and you can get all the gods. For many, including me, there is one glaring downside to the legendary god pack though. Why did it have to be the Loki voice pack and the infiltrator skin? Now I understand that Loki is a highly popular god among newer players 
and that the Loki Infiltrator skin, at least at some point, used to be the most bought skin in the game. At the same time, at this point, it's not the freshest skin anymore, so it's kind of more disposable, more simple to give away without feeling like they're making a huge loss out of it. But did it have to be Loki? Do we really want to encourage new players to play Loki as their first god with a skin and a voice pack? I am pretty certain we have enough Loki players as is, and while it's probably fun for the low-level Loki players to play Loki, it is usually not very fun for their opponents. I guess one upside is that people will learn quicker to play against Loki because they see him all the time, but the downside is that we may actually lose new players to being too frustrated playing against Loki and just quitting the game outright. But to sum it up, the Legendary Guard Pack is a cheaper deal than the Ultimate Guard Pack, and even if you're not interested in the Loki stuff and the other stuff, you still get the awesome chest with a chance to get a decent skin out of that. So it's definitely more advisable, and there's the big upside of being able to buy it without actually paying money for it. And with that, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope to see you all for the next one tomorrow. And as YouTube is being super weird lately and they've changed something again, I'd just like to casually remind you and ask you to please click the bell next to the subscription button because otherwise you won't get notified of my videos at the moment at all. Thanks to YouTube for that one. Well, whatever. Duke Sloth, out. So I actually figured out my demonetization issue and it was my outro. As such, feel free to click any of the links around here right now. There will be new outro music as soon as I find something nice. Until then, as you guys requested, I will do the outro music myself. You're welcome.